Hi guys. Um, well, here we are at the crafting tutorial. <laughs> I don't know if I could call it a tutorial or not because, you know, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm just sharing. Um, but I'm so nervous because, you know, I, uh, I have two daughters that are teachers. And I haven't got a teaching bone in my body. Um, but I'm going to try anyway. So, me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I got a decent, uh, ooh, I'm moving my camera. Uh, I got a decent, uh, way to hook my, uh, phone up. And, um, uh, I think you guys will be able to see it. I'll show you the setup. Hold on. I've got um, index cards and a book. <laughs> and I put, <laughs> I put one, uh, two, two of the legs of the tripod thing on the book and one on the desk. So it kind of goes down. So, all right, let's get started. Uh, uh, making the boho bracelets, okay? First of all, uh, let's see, I, I can't tell if I'm showing it or not. You need wire, um, cutters, pliers, some wrapping wire. I use a 20 gauge wire and some old odd beads material and scissors. And, uh, that's about it. Now, if you want a second color of wire, like this one, has black and silver on it. So just, you know, get another color. And what this is, is, um, oh, uh, it's floral wire. But you can use it. Um... And that's, I think that that's all we need. Uh, I hope you guys saw that. Because I'm going to be very bummed if you didn't. Uh, alright. The first thing you need to do is get some material. Mm, I got this. I got this piece of material. It was a, a skirt at the, uh, thrift store. Now you cut it about an inch, inch and a half, whatever you want. And you have folded over and you have a nice long, long strip, you know, of that. So that's ready. This wire, you can get it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. <laughs> Um, it's in the craft section, but it's really easy to handle, and, um, so that's what I get. Actually, you could cut this with the scissors if you wanted to. It's that soft, but what I do is just take the end of here and just snip it to it's like a circle. Okay, then you take your, your, um, pliers and you bend it over, make a little loop like that, do the same thing on the other side, and if you want you can pinch it down where it's not got a big, big circle, you know. Oh, God, I'm so nervous. I can't even talk right. Okay, so that's what we have now, okay? Now, this stuff will bend, but it's okay. You can bend it any way you want to. Um, next, oh, I shouldn't have done that. 
and heck with it. I forgot my glue, um, so we're going to wing it. But if you had, like, um, I, I used Aileen's Tacky Glue, and it's a little works wonders. I'll put some on the edge here and cover the, the uh, edge of the, oh, God, the edge of this uh, wire here so you don't pinch yourself. And then just start wrapping it. And every once in a while, I'll put a, uh, a little dab of glue uh, throughout the, the um, material just to give it an extra, extra holding power, you know. Um, Wow, well, I got to give snaps to those people who make these videos all the time. Because this is nerve-wracking. Okay. Doing the uh, wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. We're wrapping. And we're wrapping. Oops, oops. Sometimes it gets tangled up, but, you know. I am going to pull this one out. This little, the, that thing there. I'm going to pull it out. Because I, like I said, don't have my glue. And I want to trap that uh, material. Yeah, you can squish it down if it's not uh, thick enough for you. I think that's enough. Okay. And I'm going to close this back down on the material. So it, it traps it. Okay. Let's now squish this down. Pull that apart. Squish it back in. Uh. <coughs> and smash it. So there you have, let me cut off the excess. So there you have the start of your, your bracelet. I know it looks all messy right now, but you can bend it, shape it any way you want. Yeah. I think that sounds like, like a song. Um, so there, we have our basic, uh, bracelet done. Okay, now for the wire wrapping. Uh, I use, if you put your arms out like, you know, spread them out like you're doing jumping jacks, uh, I start out with that much wire. Okay. okay. And then I lay the wire down. Lay the wire down and wrap about five or six times around the end. where it, can you see that? I don't know why everyone does the hand thing. 
I know, Ken. Anyway. Uh, do that. And then, I'm going to cut the, that extra piece off. And then bend that wire down towards the material so you don't stick yourself with it. Okay? Now, all we have to do is wrap the bracelet. Now, what I try and do, if you'll notice, the material goes one way when you're wrapping it. So what I try and do is go the other way with the wire. Okay? And then we've got to the other end and you're going to wrap it make it look a little neater at the end, you know? I know it's supposed to be a shabby sheet kind of thing, but uh, no reason you can't look, you know, halfway decent. Okay. I'm going to cut that off. And where's the end? Okay. And bend it down and poke it into the inside. Uh, whoop, sorry. Just poke it down there. And then always feel it to see if there's any sharp edges anywhere. Okay. So, if you wanted to leave it like that. Oh, so, if you wanted to leave it like that. I mean, you know. That, ah, that there could be a cute little bracelet. I mean, all you'd have to do is hang a charm off of here, you know, get yourself a jump ring and, uh, yeah, and just so you could hang it. Now, <clears throat> if you want beads, I have some old beads that I took stuff apart and you know you know you'd buy stuff at garage sales and uh or thrift stores or you know you buy some beads um I won't get anything unless it's on sale or I am at a thrift store so anyway you stick the end of it through the material down into it down into there there and wrap it around a couple times and trap it oh my god I hope someone's still watching this uh okay I'm gonna start out with a green bead. And pick a side. And you just wrap it around. I'd give it twice around the, the bracelet. And it's totally random what you can put in there. So, like if I if I put a bead on this side the next one I'll probably put on this side of the bracelet and then the next thing I'll do is in the middle so you take this bead wrap it around twice Go for your next bead. Okay. 
so I've got this side. Well, that ended up being in the middle, so we're going to go with it. And so the white bead's going to be on that side. Then, let's see, what color do I want? Oh, blue. Sometimes it's hard to get the bead on when you're shaking. Jeez. Okay. I guess this one's going to go in the middle. And then... Let's see. That one's there. That one's there. This baby goes over there. Oh well, there we go. Just so they're not all in a straight line. I guess you could put them in a straight line if you wanted to. This is your your bracelet, so you put it how you want it. Okay, Sammy, it's fine. It's fine. As you know, like a random thing. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. Ooh, I like that beat. It was very hard for me to start this um, kind of thing. For one, I am a everything's got to have be uh, straight and you, oh, I'm a, I'm a wreck when it comes to pictures on the wall. Oh my god. Uh, they got to be even. It's, yeah, it's kind of bad. So, um, just to pick out random beads okay hold on when you come to the end uh, you just wrap it around and I like to trap it under the last the rest of the wire through the last bead and, and pull it and then